How's it going YouTube? Hi Drax and in today's video we're going to be talking about reveals and stuff number episode 22. Obviously Dragon Ball Legends has moved away from the um I can't even remember what the old uh video used to be where they used to speak about the reveals but it is uh, relabeled reveals and stuff and this is going to be this 22nd episode of this. Uh, usually during these episodes they usually uh, announce and showcase the new LF unit that's going to drop in the game. As of late they did um, include ultra characters and in the past they did include all star characters that used to fit into these uh, little uh, reveals. But um, going forward I don't believe they'll continue to do ultra characters unless it's a new mechanic that they're trying to maybe um, showcase. Uh, but uh, yeah, they, I don't believe they'll go ahead and do any all-star characters anytime soon. Ultra characters will be uh, probably more prevalent on this side of things. And then obviously the usual Legends Limited units are going to be released. Speaking of Legends Limited units, a lot of people are unsure what's going to be dropping for the next release. Uh, on the 19th we will see a reveals and stuff and on the 20th it'll probably drop um, during the uh, update that comes out uh, after the reveals and stuff so people aren't sure what it's going to be we have been getting a ton of different buffs as of late but um, there are quite a few directions they can go in they can go universe survival saga and then they can go in and do uh, maybe cell saga or android saga because they have been buffing that category and that uh, era of the series quite heavily as of the last two updates uh, the past week before this uh, last update with the free-to-play trunks has been very very dry so um, it will be interesting to see which direction they go but if they do go in the direction that I'm thinking um, we did get a little bit of a hint as to who it might be um, we did get this free-to-play trunks um, he is pretty decent but he is in the era of the Android saga which also gives me reason to believe that they may be going in a different direction because if they look at the Zenkai trunks this also got a Zenkai uh, very recently two updates ago and he is also from the Cell Saga he's Vegeta clan and he is very um, there's a very specific character during this time period that is very very hype a lot of people like this character and that's obviously going to be Super Vegeta Super Vegeta uh, does the final flash for the first time against Perfect Cell. It is one of the most hype moments in the entire anime series, one of the greatest Vegeta moments of all time and one of the most powerful attacks Vegeta has ever unleashed, uh, I believe ever, in the canonical series. Um, I will say releasing a Super Vegeta right now before the anniversary would be pretty smart uh, because if we look at Vegeta Clan, uh, the Vegeta Clan team, or tag I should say, uh, doesn't have very much buffs as of late. Um, they're best in terms of where they fit in the uh, Z ability chain and what units you're going to be using on this team is going to be very very limited. Uh, God Vegeta is very very good, he's brand new so you don't really need a green unit. Goku and Vegeta are almost 6 months old now and are not falling off but are seeing a lot less play. Uh, Yellow has received a new free to play trunks but he does not buff the team. If we look at Yellow uh, besides trunks you do have Angel, Go uh, Angel Vegeta and then you have uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta. Uh, both of which are very very good. Uh, Vegeta obviously the Evolution Blue being more offensive based and then Vegeta being uh, Angel uh, Vegeta being more of a support unit. Uh, Blue is obviously going to be Future Trunks, but honestly, Future Trunks is still very, very good. And then Red, you don't really have many options. Um, you probably have Ape Vegeta, and then you have Trunks and Mai. A Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is decent, but you don't see him enough around. Uh, probably because not many people summoned on his Zenkai banner. So you're not going to really see him around until maybe, maybe the next two weeks, because he is in the uh, Zenkai Space Time Rush shop, so you can't get him to Zenkai 7. So, if they decide to go with a Final Flash Vegeta being uh, Super Vegeta, I would much to my benefit say that he might be red based on this Vegeta clan team. Uh, purely because if we look at Ultra Kaioken Goku in the meta, 
uh, he is a yellow type and he is going to be very very dangerous for a very long time because of how his kit works in terms of strike ceiling and his ability to regain vanish. Having a very prominent red unit in the meta right now would work to everyone's benefit because of the fact that it would shut him down quite a bit because as good as Ultra Kai and Goku is, uh, he does not do very well uh, against most of the very tanky red units in the game such as Rose, Goku, Black. A very well built uh, corrupted merge Zamasu does also wonders against him and then Ultra Mega Shenron completely shuts him down with his defensive ability but um, having another option outside of those guys would work very well. So obviously the first option could be a um, Super Vegeta who does the final flash but in my personal opinion if they had to do him I would probably want him to drop post anniversary so that he has the blue card uh, slot for the LF. Uh, a lot of the LFs that drop post anniversary or I believe all of them that have released post anniversary have had the LFs on a blue card. Uh, that would be Namek, Goku, Margin, Vegeta and then the kid G Gohan uh, that revives into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the Bojack movie. All of those guys have blue cards that uh, hit very very hard. Obviously the exception to this is going to be the Super Saiyan God, uh, Goku and Vegeta. They are a Legends Festival unit that has released with a blue card. But if we look at the future tag, if we had to go into the future route, uh, another one that could work very well is the future androids uh, going to be, where are they? They're going to be right here. It's going to be the EX, uh, basically the sparking versions of the EX Android 18 and 17. The future androids, the evil androids from Trunks' timeline would work really, really well. If they decide to do those two guys in a tag assist form such as the Goku and Vegeta, I believe that would work very, very well considering that the android team, the android team right here does not have very good characters as of late. Uh, they did receive two free-to-play characters with the Android 21 and the Android 18. Both are fairly decent, but they're not in the category where they're going to shake up the meta and bring this team back to relevance. Uh, Perfect Cell did get his uh, Platinum Equip and he has made him pretty good actually. He's actually very, very good now, uh, especially considering that there's a lot of green in the uh, meta right now with green, green, and then yellow. Uh, other than that, the only prominent units are going to be Android 21 and then... Um, I would actually honestly just say Android 17 in some situations, but other than that, you don't really see any good uh, Androids. The team does need a new overhaul. I would honestly say they would probably need a new blue, uh, a new yellow. They definitely need a new yellow, uh, a new red as well, and then maybe a new green because honestly, these two free-to-play units, while being fairly decent, I don't really see them being very, very uh, useful in the... Uh, grand scheme of the team because if you had to build a android team it's going to be exclusively the golds that are going to be run on this team so you got old android 21s old android 18s uh being on the same team and then obviously you have zenkai 18 being the best yellow here that's going to be an android team so seeing a tag assist version of the androids from the future would work really well because the team deserves a very strong output unit. Uh, we all know how good Goku and Vegeta were when they first dropped, so obviously uh, having that type of power on that team will bring this team forward. Uh, honestly, restricting them to maybe Android Saga or the Android tag specifically uh, would be best because if we look at the future tag, the future tag does not need any buffs in the grand scheme. They have a very, very good lineup. They have Future Gohan, this Rage Trunks. Uh, they have Corrupted Zamasu, who's Zenkai buff. They have the Fusion Zamasu here, who is also Zenkai uh, himself. You have Goku Black Assist, who is a very good green unit. Even if you don't look at the characters that buff the tag, this Goku Black is still fairly decent. You have Trunks and Mai. You have the free-to-play Rose and the new Trunks. So the team itself is very, very solid being Future. I wouldn't want to see them buff future at all, I would rather they have them be exclusively tag android and maybe powerful opponent because they were powerful opponents in the Trunks timeline. Looking at the androids, uh, again another hint is going to be this. Um, they released this android equip uh, 
for all Android Saga characters. So Android Saga Z, if we look who's on the Android Saga Z, there's quite a few units here that fit very well. Obviously Android 18, Trunks, Gohan, all of the androids from the future from Z Saga when they first appeared. Uh, uh, they would probably maybe uh, fit on these guys here. I, I don't really see people using that uh, equip on these guys, but if they'd release a new Android Saga version of these guys as a duo or maybe an assist, uh, maybe even an LF, because honestly that um, that portion of the uh, special where they kill this Gohan would work really really well. And honestly, having increased damage against Saiyans and then hybrid Saiyans would work really well because we do see uh, quite a bit of the Super Saiyan Gohan and then obviously Saiyans are going to be uh, prevalent regardless of where they are. They could go another route and do this, these guys effective against everybody except tag androids. So that would be very, very interesting to see. That would be my best guess as to who the two options are right now for releasing pre-anniversary. Uh, um, if Legends decides that they want to go in the route of maybe being a very difficult, they can go in the route of um, releasing a seriously hype unit that can um, tempt you to summon, I should say. Super Vegeta would be one of those units where they can release him now as opposed to post-anniversary that would entice a lot of people to actually summon because if we look at the representation for Super Vegeta, we don't have uh, much representation. We have the Zenkai, Super Vegeta, and then the EX version. Uh, that's honestly not much in terms of seeing the basically the one of the best moments of Vegeta. So having an LF version of him would be very, very good. A lot of people have been calling for this guy to get an LF, so it would make sense to see him there. But in terms of evidence that supports that we might get him, uh, obviously this Trunks here, and then this guy got a Zenkai which may indicate a raged uh, a rage Vegeta that does the final flash. Another another way they could actually go is maybe a Yardrat Goku. Uh, I don't see Yardrat Goku being a LF unit. Maybe they will go ahead and Zenkai this guy to fit on maybe Android Saga, have his ability buff red Android Saga, uh, or Anfredo and the event exclusive characters because he does have uh, the Legends Row tag in him. But other than that, other than the Androids and Super Vegeta, I don't really know what they could do. They could go maybe um, Universe Survival Saga if they want to continue buffing that team. There are plenty of options they can go for an LF. They can go with something really ridiculous like an LF Rubian, or they can go with the Kefla, LF Kefla, like I said in my previous video, that's another option on the table. Uh, there are not many options outside of that for Tournament of Power. They could go with a Rival Universe version of Hit, uh, Tournament of Power Hit that does the Time Cage against Jiren and then that could be the LF. Uh, that would work really well to buff Rival Universe and then Universe Survival Saga as those two teams uh, could work really well and intermingle with each other quite well considering that they're very close together with what you uh, what characters appear in each of those respective um, sagas. So Hitch is on the table, Kefla, uh, the duo assist Android 18 and 17 and then Super Vegeta. So we all know that this is going to be a very very difficult time for the player base because Obviously you want to summon for all the hype units, but it's so close anniversary I wouldn't even recommend you entertain the idea of summoning for the next LF Because if you do you have less than a month you have a month maybe because once we get to maybe the end of um, April and then mid, mid June uh, Then that's when the anniversary is going to start and that's not a lot of time to build up Chrono Crystal so I would recommend that you save uh, they did release this Legends uh, Movie Saga Broly banner. Don't summon on this, it's not worth it. The units on here are subpar at best. The best unit you can get on this banner is going to be the uh, duo here or the uh, tag unit Goku and Vegeta, but even then it's only going to be 600 multi-Z power, so they're only going to be 2 stars at most. Uh, this Broly is up for Zenkai, so is this guy. This Broly is decent, but don't you don't ever see him because he just doesn't hold up very well. This Frieza has actually held up the best out of all the original three units here. You actually see him quite often on the uh, Frieza Saga team or the Lineage of Evil team. The rest of the units here are negligible. You don't need to even bother 
looking at them and then you get all the EX units here on the teams uh, the, but you don't really need to summon for the EX units because even if you did it's only going to be 250 multi Z power per EX so you're not going to even get them to limit break even if you did summon so don't summon for this this is a trap this is a bait don't don't waste your time maybe do dailies if you are um, tempted maybe you'll get lucky and pull one of the LFs um, other than that the sparking limit break banner is going to return soon uh, to the game um, they do release this every month or two actually it's been a while since they've released it I think they're spacing it out a lot more now to make it three months uh, but this banner is going to be coming back fairly soon, I believe. So, my uh, my advice to you is, don't summon on this banner. It's going to be 3,000 Chrono Crystals, but don't summon. That 3,000 Chrono Crystal can probably get you almost a full rotation on the Anniversary banner. And if they work the banners the way that they have been, um, in terms of LF banners, um, they are going to be doing double rates. So you will probably be getting at least 1,200 Multi-Z power for the uh, LFs and Sparking characters. So 3000 multi Z power is definitely going to be in your favor and if you do end up pulling that single LF that you are looking for or the brand new LF it's going to be to your benefit because that's, that 3000 uh, Chrono Crystals can come in handy whereas this you're going to be getting at least 1000 multi Z power for sparking characters and then you're going to have the 600 multi Z power for Legends Limited and honestly with the release of the current uh, sparking characters I don't believe many people have summoned for the new golden freezer on the universe survival saga or the new Whis. i actually hope a lot of people didn't summon for that banner because that was also a bait banner there's no way you should be summoning on those banners so close to the anniversary but anyways guys let me know what you think of the predictions that i gave with the evidence that legends has given us uh, do you think we're going to get a super vegeta uh, or do you think they're going to go maybe an, a crazy route and go with a uh, duo assist goku and vegeta type characters with the android 18 and 17 from the future or they're going to go something completely different like maybe a uh, <laughs> maybe something from the universe survival saga like an lf kefla maybe an lf hit uh, do you think they're going to go with something completely unexpected or do you think they're going to fit the mold and follow through with what they've supplied us in terms of hints but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's little prediction and let me know what you think about who's going to be coming next i'm also looking forward to see our next character that's going to drop my name is hydrax i'll catch you in the next one